Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if it looks familiar, it's because I'm recording this like five minutes after I finished recording the last video uh, that I uploaded, so yeah. Um, but we're going manga shopping at Kino Kuniya uh, as usual. Um, it's the member appreciation week, so I get 20% off plus 10% off because I have a Kino Kuniya membership, so I'm looking forward to that. And of course, uh, because uh, it was Christmas like two months ago, I had a gift card that I didn't use and it has $20 on it, so I'll be using that at the store today. So hopefully, you know, we get some pretty cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, hope you enjoy the video and let's get manga shopping. What's good, y'all? We back. Uh, another voiceover, another manga shopping video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we recorded this a couple weeks ago and sorry that if there's a rain in the background, um, we're currently going through a storm where I live at, so there's that so if there's rain in the background my apologies but uh yeah manga shopping after quite a while um we actually spoilers uh, got something pretty good so you might want to stick around till the end uh, of the video for that um for the question of the day uh give me some manga recommendations because uh you know i wanted to start this video out by talking about um, I read Oshinoko. Um, I actually read all 109 chapters um, that are currently out in like two days or two and a half days. It, it was pretty good. Um, I gave it like an eight and a half out of ten, so pretty good manga. Kind of wish that uh, they stuck to the main plot point a bit more, you know, of Aqua trying to find... Actually, I'm not going to spoil it because the anime is coming out and some people haven't read it. So, yeah. But I do know that Volume 1 is currently out um, in print in English. So, if you're interested in that, um, make sure you get it because it looks pretty good. And I'm definitely going to get it the next time that I go over manga shopping because I did enjoy the series a lot. But let's get to what's on the screen right now. You see we're in the light novel section. Earlier, we were in the... Uh, the new release section and there was actually some things that uh interested me in the new release section i saw the otukoi um box set and i hadn't seen that before so i don't know if it's new or not but i do know that kino kunia did one time have a limited edition otukoi cover that was over at anime expo and i didn't pick it up uh i wasn't the biggest fan of otukoi but maybe the manga will be better if i ever check it out but here we're in the light novel section as you can see checking out reign of the seven spell blades and then you know the the light novel section is pretty pretty uh static um at this Kino Kuniya, the one in Little Tokyo. Not a lot changes, um, but you know, the series that are out there, they usually do get new releases. Like you saw there, the Bunny Girl Senpai one um, had uh, the newest arc coming out, and apparently they're getting two movies, uh, which is pretty cool. And over here, they had the Magical Revolution, or Magi Revo, which is currently a seasonal airing, and it has Yuri, and it's an isekai. And I'm a pretty big fan of it because um, it's pretty good. Uh, the latest episode, uh, pretty hype, and I'm excited to see what happens next. Um, over there was Rising of the Shield Hero, and then the Monogatari series, you guys know. Uh, big fan of Monogatari, so if you know, you're looking for something good, be sure to check it out. But also, it's not for everyone, so I probably shouldn't recommend that to y'all. But, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Over here, uh, they actually have some art books. This part of the store did change. Um, they have uh, art books and um, key animation sets for Attack on Titan over here. Uh, those are actually really cool, and if I was a bigger fan of Attack on Titan, I definitely would get that. Um, but yeah, key animation key animation art books are something that I'm a big fan of. Uh, I have the ones for Monogatari and I have one for Madoka. I do want to complete the Madoka set for that, so yeah. But moving on. We have the Silent Voice uh, Collector's Edition. Uh, before, I think I said this, I thought that was a Barnes & Noble exclusive for some reason, but apparently it's not, and they have two volumes of it out. I'm not sure if there's a volume three, but there is that, and it's pretty pricey for like 46 or 50 something dollars, so be on the lookout for that. They had some Soul Eater there. Um, fun fact about Soul Eater, I watched the anime, or at least the first episode of it, and I was like, what is going on? Because... It was definitely not what I expected, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I did. Maybe the manga's better, and I heard that they do an anime an anime original ending, so I'll probably avoid the anime for that, because it didn't leave that good of a impression on me. Uh, they had a couple box sets up there. Uh, you saw the Monogatari second season one, and then over here is just the Yuri, not the Yuri section, excuse me, the Echi section uh, for, you know, the Echi manga. 
Uh, I honestly haven't read a lot of Echi, um, but I do plan on reading Trinity 7, which is uh, pretty, pretty Echi, so <coughs> we'll see if I ever get to that. And then over here is uh, a variety of publishers. Uh, I'm not sure which ones are over here, to be honest, but I do know Dark Horse is there. Dark Horse is there um, because Berserk is over there and uh, Mob Psycho is over there as well. So I believe that this is the Dark Horse section. There was also Summertime Rendering down there, if you saw. Uh, they had some Fooly Cooly there, Danganronpa, and then above it, Hero Manga Sensei, man. Peak. Uh, but yeah, like I said earlier, Berserk is all over this, the singles and the omnibuses. Uh, those omnibuses are like $50, so pretty, pretty steep price. Uh, and then over here was High Score Girl, um, and then they had the Apothecary Diaries, which I heard had pretty good reviews, but it's also a light novel, which is the source, so if I were to read the manga, I would... Or if I were to read Apothecary Diaries, I would much rather read the light novel than the manga. I'd rather read the original source. But over here is a, a bunch of assorted manga, I would say. Um, it's honestly all over the place. They have a bunch of things like... Um, I forgot the name of it. It's currently airing, and I'm not a fan of it, but I forgot what it's called. Um, Nagatoro. There we go. Nagatoro uh, was over here. And then down there is Monogatari, which is... I don't know what publishers are here. Uh, and then the blood on the tracks over there. There's one thing that I do need to note. Uh, Kino Kuniya is kind of, you know, following Barnes and Noble. Uh, oh, there's New Game right there. So, you know, if you're a fan of New Game, check it out. But um, it's kind of following Barnes and Noble where they're putting these, these sticky notes on the shelves and uh, recommending, you know, certain manga. And it's pretty funny because... Um, I'm not trying to be mean, but like these had like no effort, <laughs> no effort put into them. And it was kind of by the same person each time. And it was like one person wrote on these notes because the handwriting was the same for everything, which I thought was pretty funny. But um, yeah, they had a K-On manga up there, which was the first time that I've seen that. And then they had a Oriko Magica, uh, which is part of the Madoka spinoffs. I'm not sure who does the art for that, um, but it kind of looks like, uh, like Higurashi, so... Um, I was pretty interested in that, but I, you know, didn't get it. Uh, they had the Death Note Black Editions over there. I do want to read Death Note because I do want to see, you know, how things change from the manga or from the anime. So I'll definitely be doing that in the future. Um, they also had Dorohidoro and Fire Punch. Fire Punch is something that I want to check out because, you know, I wasn't the biggest fan of Chainsaw Man. The anime, it was... Eh, you know, the Chainsaw Man anime was, uh, it was okay. It was like a 7 out of 10. It was good, but it wasn't great. Um, but I heard Fire Punch is pretty crazy, and some of my friends um, have read Fire Punch, and they said it's pretty good, and they've sent me some panels, and it looks kind of crazy. So maybe I'll check it out in the future. They also had Monster Volume 1 there. I was very tempted to get it because I had been wanting to read Monster or experience Monster in general. Um, but I think I will end up watching the anime because people said the adaptation is very faithful and also it has the OST. Um, over here was Blue Period, which y'all know, my favorite manga, to be honest. Um, y Yatsura Yaguchi is such a good character. And then next to it was actually Blue Lock and there is Rent a Girlfriend, peak. Um, but yeah, they had Blue Lock and then they had Urumichi Nissan. I just saw there. I didn't look at it when I was in the store, and I'm so upset that I didn't look at it. Um, but um, Blue Lock, like I said, was actually a very good surprise, honestly. I thought it was going to just be like an edgy sports manga, but it's actually pretty good. It is edgy, and it is a sports manga, but I feel like they're aware that they're edgy and they just turn it up to 100, and honestly, it's just super entertaining and I'm very much enjoying the anime, and I'll definitely be reading the manga after watching the anime. Um, but here we are in the Shonen Jump section. As you saw, Call of the Night and Blue Box were over there, a bunch of Chainsaw Man over there as well, Dr. Stone, Haikyuu, you know, all the regular Shonen Jump stuff. Um, if I were to read one thing here, because I'm not a big Shonen Jump guy, but uh, I'm kind of trying to get into it more, I would definitely read Call of the Night because I do have the first two volumes and I did enjoy the anime very much. Um, so yeah, 
They also had some uh, other things like Kaiju number eight. I have the first volume of it and I completely forgot that I bought it. So maybe it's a sign that I should check out Kaiju number eight. And they had some Komi Can't Communicate and some Yozakura Family, which I heard is kinda, kinda good. Kinda like Spy Family. Yeah, that's what I heard, but let me know in the comments below. Um, and then they had some My Hero Spy Family there, like I said earlier. And then over here is uh, the back of the store, and it just has a bunch of manga from a bunch of different uh, publishers. And this is where I usually find some gems over here, uh, but unfortunately today there were no out of print stuff. Um, so that was unfortunate, but it's always cool looking over here, um, seeing what they have you know, Higurashi right there. Speaking of Higurashi, I'm reading the visual novel right now and I'm about to finish chapter seven and wow, chapter seven is amazing. Chapter five, chapter six, chapter seven, amazing stuff, man. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier in the video, Oshinoko was right there and I was very tempted to get it. But at the time of recording this, I had not read it. And you guys know when I usually, the rule that I like to abide by, uh, I don't really abide by it, but I do like half the time, but it's to, you know, read manga online first and then pick them up physically if I'm a big fan of it. Um, so I didn't pick up Oshinoko at that time, but I definitely will be picking it up in the future considering that it is getting a release and it's getting an anime soon, which is pretty cool. Um, but looking further at these shelves, um, Sword Art Online all over the shelf they had some slime over there and then we go over to the art book section um the art book section is where i lose a lot of my money <laughs> as you can see here they had some licorice recoil uh, japanese manga over here um but next to the japanese manga is the art book section and this is where i lose a lot of money and make a lot of impulse buys but luckily for me today there was nothing that uh really piqued my interest. To be honest, it, it's been a while since I bought an art book and I'm kind of proud of myself for not, you know, just going in, spending like 50, $60 uh, when I didn't plan to. Uh, but it's also because like the series that I enjoy haven't really gotten any art books. Like those two Magia record ones right there, I already have them. I've had them since like last year and they're still here. Those Madoka anniversary books right there. That new game art book over there. I mean, I pretty much got every art book that I want, so. Yeah, they also have that Hosho Marin art book uh, down there, and then they also have one up here, uh, which I zoom in on because Marin's great. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it for, um, you know, me walking around the store, but stay tuned till the end to see what I got. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool because the store had a sale and I had a $20 gift card, so we actually, you know, ended up buying stuff and not being cheap. Um, so yeah. And I just want to point out that um, Kinokuniya always does these member sales. So if you want to be a member and get in the sales, be sure you do that. They also have that Blue Period art book. Oh my gosh. Right before before I go, I really wanted that Blue Period art book. But I had to restrain myself and I ended up buying some manga and a light novel instead. Little spoilers. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this voiceover. Um, recording it in the new room. So if there's any rain or echo, sorry about that. But you know. All right, we're back in the car. Um, we actually got some stuff uh, this time, unlike, you know, the other times where I'm cheap and don't buy anything. Uh, but we were able to get three manga, or not three manga, two manga and one light novel. Uh, we got volumes nine and 10 of Blue Period. Uh, I'm actually very behind on the series because apparently there's 12 volumes now and I stopped collecting at eight. So nine and 10 are right here. And then we have the final volume of Origairu Peak right here um which i'm very excited to read um but yeah uh, that pretty much does it for the video uh not a bad haul at all whatsoever actually pretty good haul um and i'm pretty happy with what we got so yeah pretty good haul i uh, appreciate y'all watching the video if you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff i appreciate all the support and i'll see you in the next video peace